Father's Day weekend. We're out here in beautiful Newport, Tennessee at the Hard Times Rod Run. Look here. The Wonder Bread car of Ricky Bobby from the hit movie Talladega Nights with Will Ferrell. Check that out. That's the original car. Stay tuned to the end of this video for more footage of a lot of the classic cars at the Hard Times Moonshine Rod Run. <laughs> but uh, we can't agree with that. Maybe in a couple of years we'll be uh, we'll so, be back on time. We'll so get this a, is a we'll little get a DOP man back in there. We hope so. so That's this, right. So this is a little smaller in the Pigeon Forge and a little more civilized. Little yeah, more this civilized. is why we don't we don't make a lot of fuss. You know, you can look around here; it's shady. It's I love dirty. it. People yeah. sit here. I mean, it's probably 85 yeah. degrees right now. And, yeah. Uh, we're cool as the center seat of a cucumber sitting here. So anybody well, wants to come out, come out and see us. Father's Day weekend. Well, we'll do it. We're awesome. going to go get some John Bruce barbecue. Do that. He ain't got no, he ain't got no smoked deviled eggs. I went over yesterday. Good seeing you, Good Digger. Good seeing you guys again. Thank you all. We appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Today, John Boy's Barbecue had sandwiches for $7, pulled pork, pulled chicken, smoky dog, smoked bologna, and chicken salad. Also had plain hot dogs if you like that, and those were smoked. Uh, his sides were baked beans, coleslaw, and potato salad, and chips. And he also had several platters where you could mix and match the meats with two sides of your choice. Good afternoon from the Moonshine Rod Run Car Show here in beautiful Newport, Tennessee. We're out at Newport City Park today, and we're here for the cars, of course, but we're not just here for the cars. We're here for faith, food, and fun. We're taking care of some food and some fun today, and we're here for barbecue because it is Father's Day weekend, and if you want the best barbecue in this area, I'm gonna tell you where you get that because we're here. Yes, with my with my good buddy, my brother, John Cadell. We're here talking about John Boy's Barbecue because that's what it's all about. John Boy's Barbecue. And I want to uh, just say, first of all, John Boy, it is good to see you again, my brother. Oh, it's good to see it's you again, too, bro. So now, if you would, tell us about uh, how you got started in barbecue. Well, uh, my cousin Earl, uh, he used to barbecue. Earl's famous barbecue out of Deer Lodge, Tennessee. Um, he died of brain cancer several years ago. But anyway, uh, I kind of sort of got into it because, you know, he done it and done really good stuff. And whenever I was in the Joiner Fire Department, uh, we had to raise a bunch of money. And uh, we got the idea, you know, hey, let's sell some barbecue. 
let's raise the money, you know, to get our rescue pump, or, you know, to match, you know, the grant that we got. Just started doing it then and never quit. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. So now, of course, we've got we've got we've got the smoker here, and you've been on site smoking all weekend. Is that right? All right. Well, what are we smoking this weekend? Uh, we have uh, Boston butts, uh, chicken breast, bologna, hot dogs, baked beans. Man, we just got all kinds of neat stuff in there today. There you go. I love it. I love it. And now you have new sauces. Yes, I've got some new sauces. <laughs> you have new sauces. We're going to talk about some new sauces. Show us the new sauce. There. Yes, I'm going to have you to show us some new sauces if you would. But now, tell us about the moonshine barbecue sauce. You, how many moonshine barbecue sauces do you have, man? Oh man. <laughs> I know my barbecue sauces. I've got over 50 different flavors that I put out. Wow. Wow. How many are incorporating the moonshine in the I'd say at least 10. Okay, all right. Now I've had uh, I've had the moonshine barbecue, and let me tell you what, it's good. Uh, of course, we've already seen Digger here. Mark Wayne is walking around here somewhere. Now, Digger requested smoke devil eggs. <laughs> yes. yes. Digger said there are no more smoke devil eggs, and you won't find that. Uh, that's already run out. Now we know for a fact that smoke devil eggs from John Boy are the bomb. They so really are. That. So now I'm uh, disappointed. There aren't any. This is a but I'll be happy in this. No, she'll be happy. So. Uh, your bologna's phenomenal. Thank you. Your bologna's phenomenal. And now, uh, the first time that we met, uh, you were doing a, you did a smoked uh, tomahawk ribeye. Yes. Man, I mean, you want to talk about, listen, there are great steakhouses all over the mountains. You won't find anything better than the John Boy's Barbecue Tomahawk Ribeye. That was amazing. I, I will say that. That was amazing. It was good stuff. So, now, you've had some big stuff going on. I had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, yeah. You know, we've uh, been in a couple of music videos now. Uh, yes. Moonshiner Smoke Ring, Walmart commercials. Uh, yes. Just uh, appeared on Netflix, uh, Barbecue Showdown Season 2. Season 2, yes. How that's fire. This is Barbecue Showdown. Woo! The most blazing hot barbecue competition there is. They're fire. I've cooked bear, snake, you name it, I've killed it and I've grilled it. How was your experience with the Netflix show? How was that? It was different. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it was different. It was really neat. It was like a big time production. Uh, whenever I filmed with Discovery Channel and stuff, I thought that was big time. Yeah. You know, and then I filmed with Walmart, doing the Walmart commercials, and I, that was huge. Yes. But the Netflix thing, I mean, it's like a full scale movie production, just like going to Hollywood and stuff. <laughs> that was neat. That was neat. Of course, we filmed that down in uh, Covington, Georgia, but currently, right now, I've been going to Florida once a month. Uh, we're working on a brand new movie called Uncle T's Farm Stand. It's kind of a cross between Moonshiners meets Dukes of Hazzard. Oh, that looks, that's good stuff. So, uh, so what uh, what kind of big events do you have coming up? Like where are you going to be cooking? Where are you going to be cooking? I guess be festivals. I really don't know our schedule right now. I know we've got to come back up here in New York, Tennessee. That's the moonshine capital of the world, guys. Cock County, Tennessee. That's right. Right here. That's right. Um, we're going to be back up here for Hazard Fest. I know that. Hazard Fest. Uh, okay. We can the get a hold of your schedule, right? And we'll, we can post it. Yeah, we'll get that posted. Uh, I think we're going to be at a like Wyndham Point, you know, a couple of little... Uh, Fourth of July get togethers. Okay. And we're gonna walk in our truck and stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. So now also uh, so what can you tell us about um, a little a little bit more about Uncle T's farm stand? I'm curious about this. Now what uh, what is what is John Boy's role for this movie? Well it's kinda of funny. Um, I play a character named Sarge in the movie and my mom in the movie is actually Marge in charge. Oh my goodness! Oh, so I get to film with Marge and Charge, and you know fun. we saw you posting the Facebook pictures with her. Yes. <laughs> I was like, that's really cool. So how, how was that? That was fun. I bet it was. That lady, nice. she's so funny. Of course, we got her down to Daytona Beach down there, and we wrote her name in the sand. And we drove on the beach. Had a good old time. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, so now, 
You've been out here all weekend. So literally, you just set up basically camp right here in the car. Yes, sir. And, and I mean, dedication to smoking. Yeah, uh, my barbecue is a little different than a lot of other people. Uh, anymore, you got these backyard barbecues that has pellet smokers and this and that. That would be like him. The there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> but whenever you do it on the scale that I do, I mean, they just don't make pellets. Well, you're using that. actual wood. Natural wood. Yes. So, you know, I have to check a fire every three hours. What is your Temp favorite wood to use when you're smoking? Well, I use a blend. Okay. I mix hickory, white oak, and apple. And that, because if you use just too much hickory, you burp smoke for two days, just to punch it. So, you kind of tone it down a little bit with a little white oak, a lot cleaner flavor. And then you throw a little bit of apple or cherry, something like that in there, and gives it a beautiful mahogany color and a sweet finish at the end of it. There you go, there you go. And beautiful smoke rings. Yes, beautiful, beautiful smoke, smoke rings. I do know this about John Boy's Barbecue. There are beautiful smoke rings. You want to see that. But listen, my wedding ring is very important to me, and smoke rings on barbecue are very important to me. We like that. We like rings, so we like that. So now, um, you've got, right now, here, you've got chicken. Now, you do chicken breasts, but you also do pulled chicken. Yes. And we've got bologna, and what else do we have here today? Pork and uh, smoked hot dogs. Smoked hot dogs. Yeah, I saw that. That might be. Okay. Yeah, we like a little dish we call smoky dogs. Looks like a regular hot dog with we'll smoky. Then we'll top it with pulled pork. Oh, that might be where I'm headed today. Okay, <laughs> beside a little that chicken. Might be us today. Okay. All right. So now that we know a little bit more about what we're talking about, we've got door prizes going on. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over here, and we're going to get into some good old sauce, and we're going to get into some great meat. So join us in here in just a minute. <laughs> Let me tell you about the new sauces that we've there got. Go. Two new sauces. <laughs> we've got one. Marge and Charge has got her own liquor label now. Okay. And it's called March or Marge Madness. It's a mango flavored vodka. Oh. So we've got a mango flavor over here. That's a moonshine sauce. Okay. But we've also got a brand new one. Our, our triple X. Yes. We've changed it up. We went to the East Tennessee Distillery and got some of their ghost pepper moonshine. Oh. Okay. So it's a little on the spicy side. Now, is this pack a bunch? I don't know. I haven't had it, but my dad has. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give it a shot with you. Today. All right. We'll be right back. And so the sauces we have to try from John Boy's Barbecue today are the Triple X, the Carolina Mustard, which is a vinegar base, Sweet Mango Habanero, Sweet 29, Moonshine, and the Marge in Charge sauce and I hope I said that right that is the and the jar is the margin charge sauce oh, alrighty Brooksy's got the smoked bologna and the chicken breast coleslaw and tater salad I've got the smoked chicken breast uh, coleslaw and John Boy's beautiful famous baked baby. And we could not resist sharing one of the Smoky Dogs, which is a smoked hot dog with pulled pork and coleslaw. I can't wait to put a little bit of one of John Boy's sauces on that. We're all sauced up. We've got six different sauces here. And to start, we have our Triple X Moonshine Barbecue Sauce, which is made with Carolina Reapers. You can see the seeds in that. The that is the Carolina mustard, which is vinegar based. The second one. Moving on down, we've got the sweet mango habanero, which is very nice, one of my favorites. Moving on down, this is the sweet 29, which is a um, sort of a Memphis style. Very sweet, very good. It's traditional moonshine barbecue sauce. That is what he actually took to Barbecue Showdown, I do believe. I'll check with him on that. But that right there was a winner. Uh, and then last, we have Marge's, uh, is that mango? Mango vodka, vodka moonshine. moonshine <laughs> sauce. So we're going to try these and uh, we'll let you know. Yeah, I'm to eat. Okay. Potato salad. 
John Boy's potato salad is so good, but let, let me just tell you, I relish this side dish. Relish the side dish. Yes. And the dad jokes begin. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with John Boy Cadell, and we are at Food City in Newport going on a bun run. It's the bun run. Now, run through the store. Not. I can't run. I got a Nani Sweet Eats. Sweet tea, lemonade, water, root beer, and you've got dipped cheesecake, chocolate birthday, butterscotch cake, dipped ice cream sandwiches, deep fried Oreos, deep fried pineapple, and deep fried apple with caramel sauce. We got a butterscotch dip cheesecake and a chocolate dip cheesecake. Doesn't that just bless your heart? So, after a lot of uh, sweet heat and smoky barbecue, we found a great dessert place right across from John Boy called Naughty Sweets. And look at this chocolate dipped. Cheesecake. Honesty? Look at that. Yeah. Yes. So let's try this, shall we? Well, I would just like to say. <laughs> I imagine heaven will taste like that. <laughs> well, I'm excited to get into the butterscotch. You have butterscotch? I have. Okay. Or as my mama would say, scutterbotch. <laughs> yes, that is wonderful. So, uh, Christy, you're up next. Oh, yes. So, butterscotch, eh? Honesty. Yeah? How is that? Is that what you think heaven will taste like too? That is really, really good. Amazing. I am not sure I had as high expectations as this taste. Okay, okay. So, Nani's. You're very pleasantly surprised. It's good, and if I would seek them out, if I knew they were gonna be somewhere, it's that good. Okay, all right. Nani's uh, Sweets food truck here at the Newport City Park. <laughs> yeah. And, yum. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have a friend with us today, and look here. Deep fried Oreos. So look at that powdered sugar. Also from Nani's. This is also from Nani's Sweets. But look at that. Look at the inside of this cheesecake here. That's amazing. I gotta tell you, it's really good. You would think, okay, it's frozen run-of-the-mill cheesecake. Not really. That is rich and sweet, and that is the perfect compliment to a wonderful, manly Father's Day weekend smoky barbecue meal. All right. Well, so we have attended the 39th annual Moonshine Rod Run brought to you by the Hard Times Street Rod Club of Newport, Tennessee. Um, thank you to Digger for speaking a little bit there on camera earlier today about uh, the show. They always do it on Father's Day weekend. Uh, there's a great community feel here. It feels like community. It's nice. It's um, They have about 550 entrants. Sorry, I'm a little... Got sweat it's in my hot eyes. out here today. Oh. I have sweat in my eyes. It's in the 80s. And, and it's burning a little bit. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. So, whew, America. So, anyway, uh, John Boy's Barbecue, John Cadell is an amazing man, amazing brother. Uh, love that guy. And uh, we really appreciate him. Uh, taking time with us today to go over uh, new sauces. I tell you what, 
it smoked meat is phenomenal and i love everything that i had today uh his sides potato salad and coleslaw um you know just good it's just good there's nothing uh he didn't have his dressed up sides today this was more of your basic potato salad coleslaw and he told us that but you know even his basic potato salad and coleslaw is better than some people's dressed up potato salad and coleslaw so oh, i just want to say homemade, that homemade he and That's his family make it all themselves they do they do um and then of course like i said the sauces man uh marge madness um he, marge in charge marge in charge uh has a new uh, mango vodka moonshine sauce now he made the sauce from the mango yes vodka Moonshine. Yes, it, and it's wonderful. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. Um, now, when we talk about a moonshine sauce and a moon, you know, the sauces that have the moonshine in it, you're not getting a major kick of alcohol. Yep. yep. You're simply getting a back flavor. Yes. Um, and it's delicious. Yep, yep absolutely. Um, you know, but of course, Mark and Digger. Because it's cooked. Mark and Digger, two of our favorite moonshiners, and. Uh, from Moonshiners. From Moonshiners. Mark is a Ramsey see, as well. We didn't see Mark, but maybe we'll we, see him we on did our not way see out. We did Mark run Wayne. into Big Sal, his wife, and yeah. talk to her a little bit. Uh, like I said, John Boy was very gracious to take time, and uh, we woke him up. Uh, if if it tells you anything, he was he at the he was at the smoker two or three this morning. I believe is what he said. Uh, he actually camped here in the park to take care of the smoker which that's dedication and he's dedicated um, you know I'm not trying to diss on any other of the uh, vendors and food trucks that were here but there was another food truck serving barbecue and you know John's had a line all day from yeah. what I could see yeah and uh, absolutely it's just his family's very nice they're very mm -hmm. sweet they know what they're doing they've got it together we had a little bit of a bun shortage, and so John Boy said, Hey, y'all can run and get some buns. So can we we run, pick up run some and buns. get some buns. So we did a bun run. If you are not into the pigeon forage rod run thing, which can be overwhelming for a lot of people because it is so large, come up to the Newport Rod Run because truly this was wonderful. Yeah, this had more of a family Definitely atmosphere. Definitely more of a family atmosphere. It said more I of a loved family it. I will, will be coming here every every year i think i really enjoyed it it was you know the moonshine part of it uh they they have some places here talking about the history of moonshine and whatnot uh we saw a delivery truck called pops moonshine delivery which i thought was pretty cool uh my grandfather was a ridge runner back in the day and uh, there's a long long history of moonshine in these mountains and uh it's a it's a craft a science and a heritage that um i hope we never lose and believe it or not the baptist church in this area was built on moonshine built on moonshine that's right <laughs> it's um a little bit crazy to, to yeah think. it is but there's a lot of history there's a lot of history behind it so but uh, um, so let's review the food of course uh what do you like my opinion i want your i want yours first you've been you gave yours already I did, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He talks a lot. I talk a lot. Uh, I love John Boy's food. Uh, beforehand, I said, you making me some chicken? He said he was. Uh, he has smoked bologna, which is a big time southern thing. And you get these big, like, inch thick slices of bologna, and he smokes them. It's just so good. Yep. It's not too salty. It's got a nice texture. It's delicious. Um, his baked beans. He does yeah. them. He puts the peppers and onions, and yeah, we we're we're all friends on Facebook, and we see him making his food a lot. So we we see what he does. So it's really yep. delicious. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't have the smoker running all day today because he smokes at night, so we didn't get a chance to see that. Mm -hmm. But um, the chicken was very good. The hot dog, the smoky dog. I'm a hot dog girl. I love yeah. hot dogs. It's sort of one of my evil. What do you want to say? 
Indulgences? Um, indulgence. I like that So word. he smokes the hot dog and he puts <laughs> his smoked pork, pulled pork on top of that with slaw and then you can put the um, one of his sauces. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Yes. And we're sorry we didn't, sh we showed you all the food, we didn't eat the food for you because it's loud out here and you know it's just a difficult situation but you will see definitely beautiful visuals of all yes of uh john boy's yes food uh if you you uh follow him on facebook um it's under john boy's barbecue <laughs> yep. and um he'll usually list where he's gonna be yep. um he's in east tennessee all over the place mm -hmm. and uh what else I mean, everything oh. is, oh, his coleslaw, me, the coleslaw lady, uh, very creamy. It's yes. not got as much sugar in it as a lot of coleslaws, which I actually really enjoyed. And it's, it's chopped up real fine, which is the way I like it the best. So I love his coleslaw. I love his beans, love the chicken, love the hot dog. And <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, also, I got a giggle. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, <laughs> So, we got a little, uh, to end it, we'll tell you about a little surprise place that we uh, stopped at up here. Right across from the smoker and John Boy's, uh, after a big smoky meal like that, you want some dessert, you want something sweet. Oh, Nani's. Nani Sweets. Little, little operation, but big time food and flavor. Uh, I had chocolate dipped cheesecake, cheesecake on a stick. I had the butterscotch dipped cheesecake. Yes. Um, yes. Okay, so... Full disclosure, we didn't have high expectations. Yeah. We thought, oh, it'll be frozen cheesecake on a stick, but it'll be good. So, yeah. you know, we wanted cheesecake, so we said we'll try it. Way blew our expectations out of the park. Try to deep fried Oreo. And then uh, our friend got deep fried Oreos, and yeah, they were they were good. I mean, you know, if, you, if yeah. you're in a deep fried Oreo, they were good at a good one. Absolutely. So, so good day. We are going to close out with a tour of some of the beautiful classic vehicles that we saw today yep and we hope you enjoy that but we had a fun day today it was a very fun, fun day. day beautiful day very fun day thank you john boy and your family for uh talking with us and making yep. such great food and taking the time uh, to today. john boy's mama and daddy you woke him up for us that was <laughs> yes i kind of want to wake him up but he, yes. he wanted to be woke up so yep so we hope you enjoyed the tour of the cars uh, but for now, I'm Brooks, she's Christy. You've been here with us today. Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain Faith, Faith Food Fund. With the Ramses. That's us. That's that's we love y'all. Uh, that's her. Yeah. And we love y'all. God bless you. And happy Father's Day to all fathers out there. Uh, enjoy your Sunday. So we love y'all. We'll see you next time. Like this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give us a big thumbs up there. We like to we like to see those big thumbs ups. And then of course hit that bell. Ringy ding ding. That one. Yeah, <laughs> hit that bell. To be notified when we've got new content up because we want to bring you some really good stuff coming up. Again. And we'll see you next there time. are probably lots of gentlemen and maybe even some ladies waiting on the cars. So without further ado, the cars. The cars.